Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Scorched Earth. It is the morning, and it is a glorious morning. A glorious morning. So today is going to be a fun day, and I'm looking forward to today. We went out, we got ourselves a Carno, which is awesome. This is really going to help out when it comes to taking on the uh, big bad bullshit that's around here. And we got ourselves not one, but two Argentavis. I'm not sure why that one's called SS, but uh, sure. Sure. Uh, they are both females and they will be an egg farm, which will be awesome. Uh, they will help out when it comes to doing metal runs and stuff like that in the future, and as soon as we can... Ooh, that's a pretty pretty moth. As soon as we can uh, get a saddle, that'll be awesome. Oh, we got a terror bird over there. Matter of fact, let's, uh, let's see what we can do about this terror bird here. Let him come over here and say hi. Hey, buddy. Oh, you walked into the wrong area. Wrong area. Okay, not sure why SS decided to go all the flipping way over there, but... She did. So, get the hell back over here. Ooh, my plant is finished growing. Oh, I can't wait to see it. All right, so. Well, you've never instantly landed like that before. That was kind of cool. Thank you. You got that wonderful color. Nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's a pretty sweet looking plant. What do you do for me? The fruit thing, what do you got in there? Got anything in there? What do you got in there? Oh, we got some plant species wide traps. Okay, that's what those. Okay. Ah, so those kind of like act like a bowl, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, interesting. I'll take those. I will definitely take those. Get the seeds as well. Um, got our other stuff going, which is awesome. Uh, I was thinking, you know, I really like the look of how it was over at the Red Obelisk with all that water and there was that nice plateau up above it which I think would be a great spot to build a base you know I like this spot I like the spot where we're at but the water situation really blows <laughs> it really does um, and I want to be able to have other things functioning off of the water here you know I want to be able to cook and I want to be able to have the, the full-on cooker and everything else going as well as the tap inside the house and all that goodness but to do that we're gonna need water and there's a good amount of water at the obelisk uh, the only thing we're gonna have to deal with is um, Capros and getting all these guys there nice and safe but I think today we should go on and explore around the red obelisk and see what all is there see what kind of dangers are there and see if it's even feasible to build down there. So we're going to take our Carno, which is going to make a... S wow, that's that's a lot of meat. <laughs> I did not expect that. Uh, which is going to make short work of anything we run into. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to give uh, well, two levels into there, sure why not, and one more into melee. And as much as I would like to wait for you guys to give me a name, I have a buddy who really desperately wanted me to name a Carno back on the island and unfortunately that carno did not make but this one this one looks like it might survive a little while so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna name it the name that my buddy would have wanted and that is stranger danger All right, Stranger Danger, let's go and check out the Red Obby and see what's going on down there. I need to make another uh, addition to that graveyard there. Maybe this will be my graveyard base. How's that? That sounds like an okay idea. 
All right, we're back here at the Red Obby. This is where I wanted to be. I wanted to check out. There's a few areas around here I want to check out. I want to check out along the mountain there and see if maybe there's some form of crystal around here, which would be nice. Uh, I do want to kill off this Capro because I think that's the one that killed me the last time. So we're going to go get that son of a bitch. Come here, you fucker. I'll take you, too. Another one? God damn it. Come on, Carno, kill it. I was kind of hoping they weren't going to be able to knock me off the Carno, but apparently I was wrong, and they can. Okay, well, uh, with that, with those guys dead and out of the way, that's, uh, that's kind of awesome. They're out of the way. Don't have to worry about them. Sweet. Let's go ahead and put this level into health, and, uh, we're going to sit here and try and, you know, get our, get ourself back <laughs> here. Because I almost died to those suckers again, and I did not like it. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. I need to get me a fabricator, which means I really need to get me some crystal. Oh, a chainsaw? Sweet. Well, a chainsaw is native to this map, so that's that's kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of thinking up there. It's kind of nice and flat. It's overlocking the water, the obelisk. I think that would be pretty sweet. Uh, let's take care of this raptor. Oh, this frickin' water looks amazing. And there's fish in the water, which I don't think I noticed that the last time. That's kind of awesome. Um, let's uh, clean out the inventory here a bit on this Carno. Got another level. Put it all into health. Or not in the health, in the melee. Uh, we don't need all this meat. This guy is master at grabbing meat, so we can just get meat later. I really don't care. Just leave some in there for him to eat, and let's go for a run. Alright, what do we got up by this mountain here? I'm hoping more metal, crystal... Oh, what's that? I see some runes. Nice, is that a note? That is most definitely a note. Sweet. Alright, we'll have to read those another time. But now we got some experience going on for the Carno and for myself, which is awesome. This is kind of weird looking. I see crystal. And that is not real. Wonder if that's just a glitch, map glitch that they never fixed. Got some, uh... Obsidian? What is that? That's yellow. Yellow, what are you? Sulfur. Oh my god, I got a lot of sulfur from that one single node there. Okay, we're gonna put that next one into health again. I am not worried about doing any more learning as of yet. But that is a lot of sulfur. It does not weigh a lot in my inventory, which is good. That's fine. Um, used to craft distinct kinds of ammunition can be found in caves. Duh, I'm in a cave. <laughs> okay, uh, I want some obsidian because I want to make myself some scissors so we can do a haircut. Oh, man. All the good things are happening today. Crystal. Sweet. Mm, maybe we'll even move today. Oh, that'd be fun. Why not? Uh, yeah. Get rid of the stone, and how much do I weigh? You know what? I don't even care. Can my car no carry me? That's all that matters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all this crystal. So much crystal. Come in here with the Kylo, and we can definitely get a ton. Doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Must just be a resource cave. Oh. 
We got a horse, and we got a couple of saber tooth. Hey, saber tooth. That's what you get, boy. Leave that horse alone. Might be my next ride. Okay, so we come out over here. There's definitely a couple more Argentavis. This is what you would expect in this area. Oh, we got some scorpions. Sweet. And I see some vultures. We're going to take a look and see if we can't tame one of these guys. Um, just be on the safe side. I want to pull out. What level are you? 72? I think I could do better than that, but you know what? You're going to be my first one. Why not? Do I have to do anything special? No. Oh, jeez. Seriously? One and done? Nice. Come here. Your shoulder mount? It said pick up. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Where are you going? Come here. You know what? Fine. Fuck you. Be like that. Just it's it's fucking gone. So I got and lost my vulture just like that. What the fuck happened there? Well, let's keep exploring and then we will come back and go check out the red obby and see about building a base there. We may not move or anything yet, but uh, I wouldn't mind checking it out. Yeah, what do we got over here? All kinds of bad, all kinds of good bad. It's that rock. Oh, Jesus, fuck, what is that? Oh, no thank you. Nope, 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 nope. The rock is alive, the rock is coming after me. I am out of there. Nope, nope, nope. Is it still coming? Okay. All right, so, funky, odd-looking rocks like that. Yeah, no. Okay, what else we got around here? We already got that note. Carno got another level. Seven levels. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. Oops. Sure. 6,000 hit points. The rest is gonna go in the melee. Not too many bad things to spawn over here. A couple. Oh, that's a shitload. What is going on? A couple Carnos and a ton of freaking thorny dragons. Thorny dragons are making short work of those things, though. Holy crap. Alright, let's see if we can make short work of them. Okay. This might have been a bad idea. Is this a bad idea? Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, uh oh. Oh, this got bad pretty quickly, actually. No, no, I think we're good. Come here, you dummy. Good night. Where do you come from? Oh god, I love this car now. Okay, so lots of bad comes off the mountain. That's definitely something to think about. We're gonna head back to our base. We're going to see what we can do about making a bunch of stuff and prepare ourselves to potentially come and make a base over here. We want to make enough stuff for our foundation. Let's put our levels in. 
Uh, let's see what level we got to here. We are... Assault rifle. Nice. Daydon saddle, finally. Um, flak. I don't think I'm actually going to wear flak. I don't... really don't... Never know, though. Hard to say, but I, I really don't think so. I think it's going to just be too hot. Uh, so I'm not going to bother learning it. Uh, we're going to go get some flint right now. We're going to make ourselves some scissors. We're going to do our hair, and then we are going to work on moving towards the next area. Uh, is this going to give me flint? Yes, okay. 35, perfect. All I want. My garden is going to stay here. I'm going to leave it as it is and uh, just deal. Um, I may replant it over at the new base. I may not. I don't know yet. Uh, where are you, scissors? Let's do our hair. Okay, first of all, we can do braids. Which I am totally down with that. And can we do facial or oh, curly beard? Sure. All right. We'll go with that. And done. Now we got to wait for that to grow out, but uh, that's okay. All right. Uh, right there. Sure. You will be missed. We hardly knew you. What is that noise? Okay, so I was getting ready to make my foundation stuff and my gerboa just started making some noise. I have no idea what that one's for. That's a new one altogether. So, this is uh, gonna be interesting. So at least I know it's not gonna be a snowstorm. Shouldn't be a heat storm. So, I don't know if I heard them go off when it was the lightning storm. I can't remember. But I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I can't wait to find out what it is. At least I'm close to home and I got my full desert gear all up and going. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. It was a heat storm. All right. So that pat 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 and then purr or whatever is a heat storm. I have to remember that. And it is super effing hot now, which means I am not going to be able to do too much of what I wanted to do. But by the time I'm done this, I should have enough levels to make an Argentavis saddle. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start filling up the RG. Okay, RG's got some levels here. We're going to put it all in the weight. She doesn't have any meat on her. She needs some food. I need to get her some food. Okay, and... You got some food on you. Alright, we'll do that. That's fine. Perfect. I have to start checking everybody. Make sure they got food on them. You got berries? Okay, good. You got food? You don't have any meat on you. Oh my fuck. I'm about ready to just let you fucking die. <laughs> okay, I gotta get inside. I'm starting to starting to die here. Okay, so I guess we're gonna spend the rest of our time in here and uh, figure out what the hell we can do. Um, start messing around with uh, some things, see what I can... Actually, I think I had a level, so we're gonna go ahead and put that level in. I got 300 health now. And that puts me at level 61, I think. Yeah, 61. Oh, air conditioner. Oh, that'll help out. Hmm. And the fridge. It, it's a pump. It's an oil pump. Okay. Well, that looks like that's native to this map, too. Uh, next level, we can get the Argentavis saddle, which would be awesome. And then we can start flying around and actually pick up dinos and do whatever we need to and carry a lot of our stuff really, really easy. All right, there's that level I was looking for, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead. We're going to start putting into movement speed because I want to be able to, you know, save myself if I need to. And it's good to be in the air. Oh, my God. This is awesome. I've been waiting for this. Oh, my goodness. That is a big, big desert. Big, big desert. But it is nice to be up in the air. 
Okay, let's see what we got around here. From up here. You can definitely see the spots where you can put the water quite easily. I can now drop farm, which is going to be awesome. I'll probably do that a little bit. And we can head off down towards the obelisk and put down our foundation pieces and maybe take care of some dangers along the way. You get your uh, you get your stamina back. I'll get this. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Sirs, you guys, you guys are uh, took you a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't even see me. Jeez. And I really do think that this looks pretty good. I like this. I really do. You got a bit of a cliff over here. Look at that note we already got. They can come up from over here, kind of. Not really. They kind of basically got to come up over here, so... That, uh, that, that kind of creates a pinch point that'll protect us a little bit from some of the dinos, not all of them. Alright, basking in the tundra orange here, we are going to start making our base. Oh my god, I am so encumbered at the moment. Right about there. Perfect. Oh yeah, that works for me. Oh, some of it will be hidden, some of it won't. That's fine. Still gonna make a pinch point at the move you now. It's now officially nighttime. Can't see shit with this. It's gotta be there. Oh, I ran out. Huh, okay, uh, there's a little trick you can do here. You can go up under the ground. As long as there's no foundation there. So there's a couple spots there that I missed. Uh, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get those. We'll get those. Um, but for now, this gives us a spot where we can actually make a bit of a wall and protect ourselves. And that's what we want to do. So... Or do I actually want to get some more wood and make a couple more foundations and maybe make this out a little bit more the edge this way? Let's do that. All right, we'll put that there and we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a bed down, fabricator, smithy, and this two forges. Uh, where do we want the forges? Need to be on a... Oh. Oh, well, that's not fun. Can I not put anything on there? Aw, damn it. You're going to make me redo everything. Well. If that's the case, I'm going to stop right there. And we're going to call this before I get mad about the fact that I can't place on that rock that sticks through. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, well, with that said, guys, um, it was a pretty okay day. Uh, we found a spot where we want to build. Clearly, we didn't do it right or execute it right the first time. Uh, and we're going to have to tear it all down and start all over again, which is fine. I could use the levels and we I could use the practice with the building anyway. Um, oh, there's a car no off in the distance. <laughs> not, not sure I want to actually live here, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. Um, but other than that, it's uh, it's been a good day. I mean, we got up to the ability to have an Argentavis saddle and uh, we brought our RG out started doing some stuff to get set up and I think uh, I think this is a good good push forward we found crystal uh, we got ourselves a fabricator made up we don't have anything put down yet but that's okay and uh, we're gonna do that in the next episode but uh, for now guys uh, we're gonna have to call it here so with that said I'd like to thank you guys for watching and all the support 
it really does help out a lot. You guys can follow me on Twitter at TundraGamesYT. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode of Scorched Earth. And until then, guys, you have a fantastic rest of your day.